Oh, good afternoon. It is a late start to the vlog. Uh, James and I just slept for like three hours, almost. More like two. It was like 11 when we went in there. Mm -hmm. Um, not like a rough night. It was just a, a night where James didn't want to sleep. He just wanted to eat. Which made sense because I feel like he slept from like <laughs> 5 p.m. until when he woke up at like 2. Yeah. So he did sleep for a long time, just shifted at the wrong part of the day. Um, we're having some lunch, just finishing the vlog. And I think we're going to go check out another theme park's Christmas stuff. That right there is a nice build your own burrito bowl. Yeah, for like a late lunch, early dinner kind of thing. Yeah, I'm excited. Oh, we need salsa. Oh, we do. We are in Islands of Adventure. James, it's first time here. Yes, we're gonna try to go on a Seuss landing ride and then check out all the holiday decorations and fun and maybe get maybe a warm, um, <laughs> James was rolling away, <laughs> a warm butterbeer because we've never had it before. Wow, look at this tree. This tree is not usually here in Seuss Landing. Very festivous. We wanna try to go on that ride there Oh, there it goes. We think James can go on that. I also switched over to my track shack mask because um, I'm wearing this hat, which apparently I didn't realize that my red one, it helps that I have a baseball hat on, like keep it over my nose. So I switched over to this There's one. There's a big roller coaster behind you. The Velociraptor? Velocicoaster? Velocicoaster. Yeah. He's just awake, hanging out. We wanted to put his sweatshirt on, and now it's gray jumpsuit Sunday. Yay! Oh my goodness! So that is the ride that we wanted to go on. Pretty much the only reason why we came on the islands. <laughs> we, get, we call it the Seuss People Mover. It seems like it would be fine for us to take our little baby on it. But apparently you have to be 36 inches or taller, so no ride for us today. That's all right. Yeah. Now to the main attraction. Well, we're going to stop at Hogsmeade and then on to the main attraction at Universal Studios. We made it to Hogsmeade. The lights are up. They only have cold over here. So, but there's a Macy's Balloons walkthrough this year. Oh. Rather than a parade over at Universal. What time? I think it's just a walkthrough experience. I think it's like all time. Oh. Let's go check it so out. Do you want to make our way over to Universal? Yes. Wow, look who it is. Sarah rocking the baby Bjorn. Yes. Yeah. Uh-oh. Let's see if he likes ah. it. Yeah. So we ended up giving James a little snack. Now he's sleeping, so we're going into Universal. With 50 minutes left, gonna hopefully check out the Macy's balloons, maybe get a hot butter beer, yeah. and then just look at all the Christmas stuff. Yeah, that was our whole plan tonight, was just to stroll. And just soak in as much Christmas stuff as we could. Exactly. It is busy. Yeah. And so it isn't as, like, I don't know, like, casual. I, yeah, I don't think overall, like, if you came on a, on a, you were the only people in the park, I don't think Universal is as strolly of a park as Disney. Right. And so we have been like more on the move and whatnot, but I'm hoping Universal will be a little bit better. Hello. Great. We made it into Universal Studios and uh, Macy's balloons are right over there. But it seems that 
little man needed a diaper change and a little snack. So we're still getting situated here. But it's, it's gorgeous just, night out. Yeah, it's just like, we're just like relaxing. There's like some, we love a good trailer. And they're playing like movie trailers on these screens. So. It's enjoyable. Alrighty, in we go. Hello. Hi. Oh, wow. Oh my <laughs> I did not think it was going to be this. What? What? That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> you hear them? That's massive minion. Look how close we are to them. Oh, yeah, like, look how close. Oh, yeah, so good. Oh, delicious. <laughs> it's the three little... Oh! Did you hear it? You said not the gun drop button. No. Santa. Little village. Cute little dolly. Should we show the do baby donkey? Massive nutcracker. Oh, my gosh. And then you can have your... Pictures socially distanced taken with Santa. He's cute. He's got a cute outfit on. So this is the same float they use every year, and I love yeah. this because it's the list wrapping around the world. Yeah. Love it. This exceeded all my expectations. Not Christmas in Florida without some snow. Peter, are you freaked out? I'm back here with you. I am, because this is like all the age of ten. The sound stages they use for HHN and all the cues. Uh -huh. Hey, you shouldn't be here. Hey, he shouldn't be here. And it can be scary, not Christmas. I know. Whoa. Bring your sleeping baby underneath the roller coaster. Good idea. <laughs> really good idea. We're sound training him. That is what Eve has done. He does great staying asleep with loud noises. He's more like sensitive to light. Yeah, the noises. Beautiful. Peter just said, so elegant and so simple. Five minutes of park time left. It's a Dad and James show. We're going to try to go to the TV store. And Mom's going to try to go on the Mummy for the first time in a year. Hello. Okay, so we made a split second decision for me to come on Mummy instead of going to Diagon Alley. We just didn't have enough time to get there enjoyably. So I'm going on my first roller coaster in a very, very long time. Look how cute this is and it smells like Christmas. I'm barely in the building. Wow. This is almost giving me Chris Kindle Market vibes. Look at this, it's so sweet. Do you love this? It's very Christmassy. You and the clauses right here. This is the most true holiday shirt ever. We're in a uh, Grinch room right here. Look at this, the Grinch up there. Oh man. And I like that it's like classic Dr. Seuss style Grinch. I mean, I love all the different movies over the years, but I just, the classic you can't beat. Asleep or awake, you tell me. I know the answer. Oh, look at the hallway of all the different, look at that adorable Santa Claus. Uh, all the different Universal stuff over the years. Wow. James and I are like the only ones in here right now because it's after close. Universal knows my secret that the Harry Potters are Christmas movies. We're in a Christmas Harry Potter room. What? Wait a minute, look at these. I don't think I've seen this whole Keeper series. What do you think James is? So. Sarah is a Ravenclaw, I believe. I'm a Hufflepuff. I think James is going to be a Gryffindor, because if, if he takes after his namesake, I believe Sarah's dad was a Gryffindor. But, what house do you think this little bugger's in? Yes. So there's like snacks at the end, holiday treats. Maple pecan sticky buns. We have to come back before this is gone and get all of this. This is like roasted pecans are literally one of my top three favorite edible things in the universe. 
Look at this. Greatest, best quality. Thanks for visiting Earl the Squirrel Tree Farm. I think Universal's doing a nighttime show already, again. So, oh, see? They are. James and I are just hanging out over here by this U.S. stop, all empty. Sarah loves Mummy, and she hasn't been on it forever, and it said 35 minutes, five minutes before park closed. I was like, that cannot be right. Please just go. She texts me after waiting like four minutes. She's already getting on, so I'm so happy she's going on it because she loves that ride. And we're just hanging out. He's just chill, as cool, cool as a cucumber. Hi guys! Hi! That was awesome. Did you feel alive again? I did. I'm so happy. I forget that there's the water nighttime show going on. I did too, I just said that on the buggy. We will definitely be back. We're beating the crowds out. So the movie theater here is playing a bunch of Christmas movies. Elf, Grinch, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Sarah, where did you get this bologna sandwich with gold <laughs> you asked? Peter ran to Publix. I said, um, do we want any bologna and Miracle Whip and white bread? Eve is desperate for my bologna sandwich. Um, and he's like, Publix is only open for this many more minutes. If you're serious, I gotta get my shoes on and go right now. And, so he and she just looked at me, and it was one of those instances where I was like, I know my best friend enough that she's gonna tell me not to go. And in just enough time for it to not be enough time to go, she's like, oh, yeah, we should have gone to Publix. So I was just like, just text me what we need. And ran. And I ran out the door. She's asleep. He's asleep. She's asleep. I have been, it's 11? Yeah, it's 11.10. Um, I've been doing the dishes. We had like big pots and pans. We've been kind of letting pile up. So I cleaned those and I'm actually going to do a little work. There's a report that I need to send out by I think 11 a.m. tomorrow. And Monday mornings are kind of crazy for me with meetings and stuff. So I'm actually going to start working now hopefully not too long maybe about an hour if i'm lucky uh, just to get set my, my work week off on a good note but we're gonna i'm gonna watch the godfather sarah put on godfather part two i'm feeling God, godfather part one. Oh my gosh big stretch <gasps> hi jamesy boy hi can you smile the first time I saw James smile when he wasn't sleeping. He's got socks for mittens today. Oh gosh, oh goodness. Stretch, stretch, stretch. That's a silly face. What? Ooh. 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 <laughs> I'm just staring at the camera now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you happy, happy boy. Well, that took longer than expected, but I'm glad it's over. Today's quote is by Marilyn Monroe. It's better to be absolutely ridiculous than absolutely boring. I think that is one of my, like, spirit quotes. Look who's awake. I did show you guys sleeping. Oh, okay. We're getting some last minute end of the night tummy time. He's in such good spirits. Steve's getting some tummy time. I don't, sometimes he does great tummy time where he lifts his head and other times he does this kind of tummy time where he just chills. Either way, he's adorable. <laughs> Say, it's good to be home. Oh, gosh. Oh. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, gosh. Good to be home. It's good to be home. Burp City. <laughs> you see yourself? Wow. Wow, look at that cute kid. 
such an amazing kid. I sing that from the Finding Nemo the musical <laughs> all day, every day. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.